You know, I was just saying to myself, I wish there were more endless runners on the App Store. More endless runners that ripped off classic IPs, and more endless runners that focus more on IAPs than customer satisfaction. Hot diggity was I overjoyed when I saw Banana Kong arrive on the App Store. In all seriousness, I wanted to hate this game. I wanted to hate the look of it, the way it plays, and its money-grabbing cheapness. But I don't. In fact, I have to say that I actually like it. Brought to us from the same group that released the ridiculously addictive and ultra-violent Clear Vision, Banana Kong is a slick, polished, and challenging endless runner. You play the role of a cute little gorilla making his way through the jungle eating bananas and, ironically, escaping a huge wall of bananas headed your way. You tap to jump, hold to glide, swipe down to drop, and swipe forwards once you've filled your power meter to perform a charge dash forward. If you activate this dash while approaching an abandoned mine, you'll break through into a new underground playfield. Activate it while swinging on a vine and you'll fly upwards and have to bounce off the tops of the trees above. These little distractions really add some value to the game and gives the player some choice on how they'd like to proceed. Occasionally the game feels a little cheap. It's immensely frustrating when a boulder comes hurtling towards you out of nowhere or a pillar drops down in front of you cutting your run short. All totally avoidable, of course, especially given that the power meter fills up so quickly. Activating your charge attack breaks through all obstacles in your way. Most of my runs last less than a few minutes as the game speeds up very quickly and it's not long before I too meet my end thanks to mistiming a jump, running into a wall or getting eaten by a crocodile. Given that the game is very addictive and clearly steers players towards in-app purchases, I would have liked to have seen this released as a free-to-play title. Even still, the 99 cent asking price doesn't seem too out of place. Check it out via the link in the description below. Click that subscribe button for more great iOS gaming videos and check out GameMob for the latest mobile gaming news and reviews. That's www.gamemob.com.